Hello everyone and welcome back to Eagle Wish. Today we're going to dive into a fascinating chemistry project in which we will be tackling a crucial issue food adulteration. We'll begin with a detailed table of contents, mapping out our entire investigation. Following that, we'll cover the formal aspects, the project certificate and a properly formatted acknowledgement section. A sincere acknowledgement is essential to express gratitude to all individuals and organizations whose contributions were instrumental in the successful completion of this project. Let's start with an important introduction to food adulteration itself. What exactly is it, and why is it such a serious concern? Food adulteration is the act of intentionally or unintentionally compromising the quality or safety of food by adding, substituting, removing, or misrepresenting ingredients or substances in a deceptive or harmful manner. Food adulteration is a huge concern because it jeopardizes public health by introducing toxins, reduces nutritional value, and deceives consumers, undermining trust and fairness in the food system. The primary aim of this project is to identify and detect the presence of specific adulterants in various common food items. Next, we'll detail all the necessary requirements, listing the chemicals, equipment, and materials needed to conduct our adulteration tests. Before we dive into the procedures, let's first review the theoretical portion of our project. Now, let's get to the heart of the project. The procedures. We'll start with detecting adulterants in ghee, oil, and butter. Each step will be clearly explained. Moving on, we'll address the issue of sugar adulteration. We will outline the specific tests used to identify impurities or unauthorized additives in sugar samples. Next up, we'll move on to detecting adulterants in foodstuffs such as chili powder, turmeric powder, and pepper. After conducting the test on above foodstuffs, we'll record the observation in a table form. Do you know? In India, food adulteration is primarily examined and regulated by the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, FSSAI. The FSSAI is responsible for setting standards for food products, ensuring food safety, and regulating the manufacture, storage, distribution, and sale of food products to protect public health. The results of our tests show that adulterants have been found in the foodstuffs. Here are some preventive measures that an individual can take to avoid adulterated food. Finally, we'll present a comprehensive result, along with our conclusion which reflects the presence or absence of adulterants in food items. Remember to include a properly formatted bibliography. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found this project informative and empowering.